Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'd like to share with you how to use the follower tool in Fusion to animate text. So let's check it out. All right, so in DaVinci Resolve right now, we're in the Fusion page. And first off, I'm gonna start by bringing here a text node in my working area, and then I'm gonna link it to the media out. Now I'm just gonna write some text right here. So DaVinci Resolve, for example. Now, today we're gonna see how to use a tool that's gonna enable us to have uh, some animation between each letter of a text or a sentence instead of having it uh, affecting the entire uh, composition. So right now, let's just go in the inspector and on the text box, we're gonna just right click on it and we're gonna select follower. What it does here, it enable a new tab called modifier. And in that tab, we have a couple of things here. We get some text modification that we can do, we get some transform and some shading. So something very similar to what we can have here uh, in tool. But the difference is that here, we get something called timing. And what timing does is that essentially now we'll be able to have the animation affect each letter of our text rather than the entire text uh, on its own. So let me demonstrate so it's a bit more clear. So right now I'm gonna go to shading, I'm gonna go down here to position, and I'm gonna do a simple uh, offset Z animation. So we're gonna just add a keyframe here at 25, at zero on the offset Z, and then we're just gonna go down to frame zero, and we're gonna put the offset Z at minus 25. So right now basically we got an animation where uh, the text is out of the screen and then just coming in into the screen. But as you can see right now, it's affecting the entire text. What I would like to do is I would like to add delay between each letter. So each letter is coming into the space independently. So right now, if we're going back to timing, I can add some delay right there. And what it does essentially now, if I play it, as you can see, each letter is entering the frame on its own and not the entire text. Now there is a couple of things we can choose here in the inspector. First off, range, uh, either all character or character range. So you can select your own character range, but I will recommend to uh, put it most of the time probably on just all character, which will affect basically all the letter within your composition. Then all the automatic here, that's where you can just really uh, create a style. Uh, right now we can select, for example, left to right, which means that basically um, the delay gonna go from left to right, which means that basically the right gonna show up first and then the left gonna show up later and be delayed. Uh, we can have the opposite, right to left. We can have inside out. So basically right now, if I play it, as you can see, it go uh, from first, you know, the outside of the frame, then coming inside of the frame. We get the opposite again, outside in. So right now it's going from the inside uh, of the frame and then from the outside of the frame. Uh, random but one by one so here it's like a random order for the letter to come into the frame completely random here you have no clue what's going on just all the letter are coming on uh, as they want and then the last one manual curve where basically here you can just adjust the delay as you want now right now i'm gonna just go back to uh, left to right and something to consider is that you shouldn't go too hard on the delay because basically that minus 0.2 right here, it's between each letter. So the more you add, the more delay you add between each letter, which is uh, maybe not the best sometimes, which might become quickly uh, too much. So that's something to take into account. I will rarely go, you know, above, uh, you know, 1.6 uh, because then it starts to be a bit too much in my opinion, but then it's just a matter of taste. Uh, another tip is that right now we doing it on, you know, a short sentence or just like couple of word, but if you were to try to animate uh, a longer text, like a paragraph or something that you show up on screen, I would recommend to use instead of between each character to use between first and last character. What it does right now when we have selected, if we play it, it's almost not noticeable at minus 1.6. You will need to increase because it takes into account the first letter and the last letter. So where before it was uh, minus 1.2 between each of the letter, which was basically combined to minus uh, 10 in general. Right now it was like 1.2 on the entire composition. So we don't notice so much delay. So we have to increase it, for example, here at minus 10. And now we can start to see again, similar delay to what we had uh, when it was uh, between each character. 
I would recommend to do that on longer text because uh, it's just easier to adjust the delay and having something that uh, suits the text better. All right, so now that hopefully you understand all things are working, uh, you can just combine a lot of those elements and create something that is, in my opinion, quite interesting. So here I'm gonna add, for example, some uh, opacity to it. So we're gonna do, I don't know, an opacity here at uh, the frame 25. I'm gonna be at one in opacity, go down to zero, bring the opacity down to zero. And now we have already something that looks a bit better. Uh, we could go here, for example, in the rotation uh, and add some rotation to it. So I'm gonna add rotation on the X, Y and Z axis. And then we're gonna go down to zero and we're gonna increase randomly all those. I'm not sure how it's gonna look. It's just to share with you what the possibility are. So now let's play it. Perfect, I think it looks pretty cool. Now we could try to, you know, smooth out the entire thing by clicking here in the spine editor, select text, select everything, try to select all the key point that we've added, then hit the letter S on the keyboard, then hit the letter T on the keyboard, and here I uh, adjust the ease in to about 80. That's a number I often feel comfortable with when animating. And then we can just try to play it again and see how it looks. And we got something already that look a bit smoother. Uh, always make sure to do, you know, those thing to adjust the curve in the spline editor. If you want to have something smooth, uh, it makes a huge difference in my opinion. But that's pretty much it. That's how you will do some animation between uh, each letter of a text instead of having, you know, those animation affecting the entire text. So not just sky is the limit, you know, you can just do a lot of different things uh, within that. Uh, also, you can just change here instead of left to right, uh, checking if inside out is better or outside in is better. Uh, already just toggling that drop down make also a huge difference into the overall look of your text. And one last tip before leaving, if for some reason you want to remove all the keyframe point that you've added uh, on your text, you can just go back to tools and here, if you just toggle uh, that keyframe point, you will just remove everything and you will be back to uh, something that I got no animation in. If you go back to the spine editor, everything has been removed and now you can start fresh if that's something that you want to do. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.